When Suryavarma I died in 1050, he was not succeeded by his son, but instead by a descendant of Yasavarma I's wife, called Uryaditya Varma II. His reign lasted until 1066, and during that time several attempts were made at opposing him. The first one took place already in 1051, and was led by a man called Aravindarad, and in 1065 he had to face two additional revolts. All of them were crushed by his general Sangarama, who, however, is said to end up with a jaw injury while putting down the last two. Uryaditya Varma built several temples during his time in power. That of Sadok Kok Tom, located in present-day Thailand, is important as the discovery site of an inscription detailing the line of previous Khmer kings. Another of his temples is that of Bap Huan, which would go on to be praised by the envoy of the mighty Tamir Khan who visited in 1296-97. He also finished work on the massive West Bahrain Reservoir which had been begun by Suryavarman, and on an island in the middle of it he built the West Mebon Temple. In 1936 the largest known bronze sculpture in Khmer art was unearthed here. It's a reclining version of the Hindu god Vishnu, and although only fragments of it have been found, it's thought to have been about 6 meters long in total. Uryaditya Varman was succeeded by his younger brother, Harshavarman III, 